What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. Um, so glad you guys have uh, cho chose to view my channel. I hope you enjoy it for the newbies just joining and everybody else. Welcome, gang, gang, to say it. Um, if you guys want to be notified for future videos, um, smash the sub button. Um, that way you can be notified for future videos. Just saying, just saying. Um, and if you're really enjoying, uh, enjoy vibing with the Soul Tribe, just saying, just saying, just saying. We would love to have you. Okay. So I got some channeled in. So I'm going to do this um, this video. I hope everybody is doing well. Fro, fro, fro. I do, I do, I do, who? Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general collective reading so it's very very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest just saying okay let's roll 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 okay so the um channel i, re I received a few actually so i'm just gonna offload them download them so um the channel i received basically or channels i received was um uh new age new age new way of living and um, some are really going to enjoy this and some are not. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. New age, new way of living. Some are really going to enjoy this and some are not. So um, you plug that in, how that resonates, some kind of new age energy, new way of living. Um, it sounds like some, some people in the collective are going to like it. So some of you guys are going to like it. Some of you guys are not. Um, you plug that in however that resonates for you and you know that would completely make sense to me it would completely make sense because um you know with i mean when covid covid you know i live in the united states i know some of you guys live in different countries and it came to you in different times but i live in huntsville alabama in the united states and it came to us in alabama i think like in march of 2020 ish time frame march of 2020 covid did um that's when it first originally hit down here um well it's still going on it's still going on it's still causing economic crises and all kind you know all kinds of crazy crap um still 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 even with vaccinations um even with vaccinations that have come into play and things of that nature um it's it's i mean i'm not blaming c19 i'm not blaming c19 for all the problems in the world i'm definitely not but it is a contributing factor um, to a lot of a lot of things, um, especially economically, in my opinion. Um, I do feel that. Um, but but um, it has changed the way a lot of people have lived. Uh, has it's forced changed a lot, the way people live? Um, so. I feel some of you guys, you have enjoyed that change. Some you have and some you haven't. Now, for me, I've enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it, personally. I have really, really enjoyed it. I know some of you guys have not. But it's it's forced people to really do more hermit mode energy. Um, of course, when the C-19 stuff started happening here, it was just me and my kids that live in my home. Um, so, you know, I didn't have... For some people, they they got stuck with crazy like crazy folks up in their home. They got stuck with crazy folks in their home, and it it became redonkulously insane in the membrane. So you know, of course, tower moments occur, and hopefully, people have gotten out of that. But it did it 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 created a lockdown on everybody. So you were basically stuck with what you. I mean, restaurants and everything was closed for months here months and months and months here months so um and you know now everything's reopening but it's still forced a new way of life so i feel it could go that way for a lot of people the whole you know with the c19 um changes in the world it could go that way for other people it could be um the whole the new life energy new world energy it could be you focusing on um, changes you want to make in your life, whether it's spiritual changes, growing spiritually, whether it is um, eating healthier, exercising, 
spending more hermit mode time to yourself, cutting off third, fourth, or fifth parties or situationships or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or getting a, you know, education or what have you. Um, you plug it in your life, however it resonates. Um, I didn't hear those from spirit. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear those from spirit. I just heard the whole new age, new world energy, S type energy. Um, I feel that's how it could resonate though. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if it does resonate for you. Um, I do feel C19 did, uh, did contribute to a lot of the new age energy, new age, new world energy for a lot of people. I really do though. But I feel personally that it was a good thing for a lot of people because it really, people were getting, it was, if y'all remember back, before it really hit, like in Mar like it was March of 2020 here, people were just off the chain. Now, I'm not saying people aren't off the chain now. They still are. But it's kind of woke people up, I feel. It's kind of, it kind of precipiced it to wake people up in a way because it's, cha uh, it's changed. I mean, the, if you think about it from March of 2020 to October now, 2021, the world really has changed in many ways, many ways. But I feel in positive ways. I feel in positive ways. I don't, um, for the most part, for the most part, I'm not saying it hasn't changed negatively in some aspects. But for the most part, it's changed positively, I feel. Um, so, you know, but new age energy, new change, new age energy. Um, I feel positivity in this energy. I'll tell you that. I feel positivity. I feel positive changes, changes coming for a lot of people. I do. I do. Now, whether, um, I like I said, I told you, I think C-19 had a lot to do with it. Absolutely, I do. But, um, but um, now, you know, because March of 2020 was a long time from October 2021. I'm sure life has changed for a lot of you guys since then. I'm sure it has, um, either for the positive or the negative, hopefully for the positive. Um, but... I do think that precipiced it for a lot of people is what I'm trying to say. Um, I do, I do. And I feel a lot of people needed that wake up call. They needed that zing bazinga moment. They needed that aha moment that, oh, the world's went to shit. Maybe I should start trying to start help change it for the better for myself and for people I love and care about. That's kind of the energy I'm feeling um, in here. Um, I feel at least one of you guys, um, I think you recognize, I think you're highly intuitive, and you recognize the new world, new age changes. Um, and I think you are making changes in your life um, to accommodate that. I heard for some of you guys, you're, you know, you, you're going to like it, for some you're not. So for some, of us, I feel you're about to undergo more changes. Um, there's just been so many changes for so many people in so many aspects of that, is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, um, for some, the changes coming up, you might not like. For some, you may. Um, but, you know, remember always, you know, you always have a choice. You always have a choice. Um, are you going to make a positive choice or are you going to make a negative choice? Um, and that's just a true for real, for real. So, you know, just saying, just saying. I'm going to pull some cards and see if I hear any more messages. But um, I do overall feel positive energy in this. I do. I do. Um, I do. It's, remember, you guys, it's all in the choices you make. It's all in the choices you make. So are you going to make a positive one or are you going to make a negative one? Um, just for real, for real. Many are going to make very positive choices. Have a completely new perspective on life now. Not so materialistic. Okay. I heard many are, so many of you guys are going to make positive choices. So many of you guys are going to make positive choices. Um, it sounds like um, in these choice making, decision making times you're about to have, if this resonates with you. Um, I heard, um, yeah, that most of you are going to make positive choices. Uh, most of you are going to make positive choices. So I feel you've learned from the past. I feel you've learned from the past in some shape, form, or fashion. And you're moving forward you know you're moving forward in life and you're and you're just um rolling with the punches you know i mean accepting the past for what it was and moving forward in a positive way now yeah i mean you know 
I mean, now, like here in Huntsville, Alabama, we don't have to wear a mask out, uh, out when we go out in public, you know, with the C-19 thing. We don't have to wear a mask and things like that. But there still has been a lot of changes, a lot of changes. There are messages you have to plug this. I feel it's C-19 has changed society. Um, I do. I, and I feel with that message that I got, the new life, new world, energy-esque, I feel that is coupling with um, uh, the changes of society. The changes of society and um, realizing, you know, moving forward with the changes of society. Because um, you can't help a public health pandemic. You just can't. Acceptance, balance, and pleasure. A particular water sign is going to try to attempt to come back into a fire sign's life. But the fire sign is not, the water sign definitely wants sex. But the fire sign is definitely going to turn them down. Oh, okay. Whoa. So you plug in and help this. I heard a um, water sign is going to attempt to come back into um, fire signs life. Now, water signs are... Aries, Leo, I'm sorry, water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter. But I heard, um, and fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. So a water sign, masculine or feminine water sign, is going to try to come back into a fire sign's life. Masculine or feminine fire sign, you plug it in your life. You plug yourself in however you fit. Um, but the water sign, I heard, is going to try to attempt to come back into the fire sign's life. And I heard the water sign definitely wants sex. But I heard the fire sign definitely does not. Um, and it is not going to make this water sign happy. Not at all. For some, the police will be called. A lot, a lot, a lot has changed. This water sign has to realize this. Okay, so you plug in and help bits. Wow. Okay, so... Okay, so we got water sign energy. You could be the water sign, you could be the fire sign, you could be somebody connected to these people. You plug it in all bits. But a water sign is going to try to connect, um, come back into, a water sign energy is going to try to come back into a fire sign energy's life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Try to come back into Aries, Leo, Sag's life. Somebody, it's somebody this fire sign has known from the past. I'll tell you that. It could be um, an ex coworker, ex family member, a childhood friend. Um, a family member? Ooh, that would be nasty because I heard they want sex. Um, but, you know, people do that crap. Unfortunately, they do. So I wouldn't put it past some people. Um, or an ex-neighbor or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just somebody this fire sign knows from the past. Like I said, it could be uh, somebody they went to college with, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but they're sexually interested in this fire sign. They are sexually interested in the fire sign and they know them from the past. But I heard the fire sign is not interested in sex. Um, and I heard it's going to piss this water sign off. So you plug it in however that resonates um, in your life if it does. Wow. I heard a lot has changed. A lot has changed. So a lot has changed, I feel, with both of these people. Um, and coupled with the new age, new world energy, a lot of changes in society has happened, I feel. So I feel I got that message for a reason. So a lot of changes has happened in society, which probably has caused... This fire sign, you know, a lot is, I mean, maybe, I mean, a lot has changed. So a lot has changed with this fire sign, a lot has changed with this water sign, a lot has changed in the world. It's just not the way it used to be um, for these two people. And so, but now this water sign wants sex from the fire sign. Fire sign doesn't want sex. Well, you know, there is a thing still today in 2021 called consent. So the water sign is just going to have to get over it if the fire sign doesn't want sex, you know? I mean, because you try to force yourself upon anybody that is called rape for anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying, saying. I heard the police might be called in some of these situations. So you plug it in, however that resonates. Um, so the water sign might get so pissy in their pants, masculine or femme, that um, the fire sign might feel like they need to call the police. 
Um, and if you ever feel like you need to call the police, please do that. Please. I know there's already cops out there, but there are good cops as well. I just want to make that clear. Um, number 4, 19 or 18 or 22 or 41 might be very significant. 4, 19 or 18, 22 or 41. These could be significant numbers in your life or somebody you're connected to's life. It could be a first name, middle name. I'm oh, sorry. It could be significant numbers in your life in some shape, form or fashion. Um, ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be ball, Jersey ball team numbers. It could be possible social security number, possible green card number, um, possible date of birth. It could be a lottery number, possible lottery number. It could be any significant number that you're seeing on billboards or advertisements in any shape, form, or fashion. Also, we have four. I'm going to look up angel number 444. Um, I'll give you an example while I'm looking this up. When all that uh, COVID mess hit, um, I started reading. COVID happened here in Alabama in March of 2020. I started reading cards in March of 2020. Um and I did it as a hobby. I did it as a hobby for a long time, a long, long, long time, up until uh, this summer, up until the summer. I just did it as a hobby, but, and because I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed learning and, and, and feeling the energy, and I, I was very new. Um, but that was my hobby during COVID, because we were all so isolated. The restaurants wasn't even open, and I mean, it was just me and my kids in this home by ourselves. So it was my hobby. Tarot card reading was my hobby for a long time. Um, you know, everything happens for a reason. Of course, now I've learned a heck of a lot more than I know then back in March of 2020. Everybody learns, you know, but um, but that's just a personal example for me. Angel number 444 is a message that you have nothing to fear in regards to your life, work, and divine life purpose. When you take positive action towards your highest intentions, aspirations, and goals, the universe works in your favor. Okay, so um, I feel somebody might need to hear that. You have nothing to fear in regards to your life, work, and divine life purpose. When you take positive action towards your highest intentions, aspirations, and goals, the universe works in your favor. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go apply for that job. Go, um, you know, date that person if 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 they want to date you. If they, you know, y'all copacitantly agree to date um you know ask that person um do hey you want to go to tunica for a weekend as a friend um hey um um do you want to hang out and play softball you know as a friend you know whatever it is in your life is what i'm trying to say whatever it is don't be afraid to pursue it um i know there's been a lot of societal changes we're all about societal new life changes new age changes in here I feel this could go society way, way and personal spiritual growth and personal development and growth um, for who this resonates with. But don't be afraid to take that chance is what I'm feeling um, from angel number 444. Don't in this reading and the messages. Don't be afraid to take the chance. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, whether it's emotionally, um, platonically, um, career wise, etc., etc., etc. That's what I'm feeling from this. Acceptance. Hold on. Acceptance, balance, and pleasure. I feel guided to get them all together. Someone has been doing a lot of masturbating. A lot, a lot, a lot of masturbating. And saving a lot of money. And someone has invested in a very technical love machine. Okay, so you plug it in all bits. Well, okay, a lot of sexual energy in here. Um, okay, nothing wrong with that. Just nothing for real for real. Um, a lot of alone sexual energy. Um, but I heard you're saving a lot of money. So uh, you're saving a lot of money on Geico. Or you're saving a lot of money not hiring Jessica. Uh, Jessica the Jinx. <laughs> or Molly Mounds. <laughs> um, you plug it in how it fits. But um, however it resonates, it sounds like you're focusing on saving money. 
uh, new age, new world energy. You're so you're you're focusing on financial freedom, financial flexibility, um, and, and your sexual health. Um, I think in the past, who this resonates with, you used a lot of prostitutes, male or female, so gigolo or prostitute. Um, you use you um, you use them for services, um, and uh, now you're not. You're focused in on saving money and. Um, and you're focusing on your sexual health, which is beautiful. Um, that's beautiful energy if that resonates. I mean, because that will not do nothing but benefit you. Um, double deuces in the long run. I'm just being for real, for real. I'm serious. It will do nothing but make your money go up because you won't be spending it on Molly Mounds or Jessica Jinks or um, uh, um, Kinky Kiera or whoever. Um, you will be um, putting it in your bank account um, and, you know, you can self-please yourself at home, which is uh, what you're doing. You're masturbating a lot. And for some, I heard you invested in a very technical um, love machine, which there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe it's the one I was talking about the other day that warms up in the genitalia, possibly. Um, I think that's very smart. It's smart. Because, you know, I know there's still hidden camera energy apparently going around in the collective. Apparently still which is sick of shit. But if you are one of the ones that don't have a hidden camera in your house and you have an actual security camera that is yours and not a hidden camera and you know what the fuck's going on, then, you know, that's a good investment. If you know, you know, you can sit there and hump the damn thing till the cows come home and the freedom of your home and nobody's fucking watching you. And you can still get your rocks off to um, angel um, extra sensitive 3000 you know so absolutely so you're accepting the balance of the new world you're accepting the um fact that um you have cut off prostitution services um or for some you could about to be cut them off but i feel for whoever this is for you have already cut them off um you're accepting the balance now you're accepting the balance the fact um for some i think it could have been hard because you probably have severe sexual addictions or you're just or you are just um you're second you like you like sex and there's nothing wrong with that i mean i've talked on here many times um that i love i love to have sex when i've had sex of course it's been two years since i've had sex but when i did have sex i love to have sex um never for money i've never been paid for sex never fuck no and never would accept money for sex um but my point is, you have an active sacral chakra, whoever this resonates with, which is the seventh, it's the lower one near your groin. It, uh, it controls sexual urges and sexuality and sex drive. And yours is active. And there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing freaking wrong with that. I feel you've been masturbating a lot. You're accepting the balance. You're uh, saving money for a lot of you guys. And you are doing it in the privacy of your home um c19 style there's nothing wrong with that um accepting the balance with the pleasure the new pleasure some it's um the new technical molly mounds 3000 um extra flexible possibly i mean you plug it in help be it And to me, the investing in that extra, uh, in that um, very, um, it sounds like expensive and technical type love machine, um, will probably save you money over time. Um, one, that person, uh, the Molly Mounds 3000 Extra Flexible or whoever you ordered, will not talk back to you. You're not going to get in physical arguments or physical conflicts with the Molly Mounds 3000 Extra Flexible. Um, you won't get put in jail. Um, for prostitution um, with Molly Mouse 3000 Extra Flexible. Um, I mean, there's a lot of benefits. You will save money. You will save your sexual health. You won't have to worry about STD. You will not get put in jail worrying about sneaking around with a prostitution ring. I mean, there's a lot of benefits. A lot, a lot, a lot of benefits. Congrats and kudos to whoever this is for. So I feel this is societal changes with the new age and new world energy as well. Couple with C19, you're saving money, you're taking charge of your sexual health, um, you're staying off the streets. Absolutely good for you, whoever that's for. 
yin and yang, seven chakra. So balance energy with the crown chakra. And there was a um, water a water sign wanted to come back to a fire sign. Maybe for some, this water sign, maybe they're viewing this reading and, re and realizing that the fire sign doesn't want, um, you know, with the energetic reading and, and video, if the water sign abuses, this, they realize the fire sign is not interested sexually in this um, fire sign. And maybe they go, they go order Molly Mouse 3000 extra flexibly. Possibly. I don't know. You plug it in how it fits. Oh. It definitely is going to create more balance. And someone's about to report a prostitute. Okay. I heard it's definitely going to create more balance and somebody's about to report a prostitute. To the FBI. Damn, to the FBI. Holy shit. Whoa, to the FBI. My God. I was thinking, I was going to hear police. I didn't hear police. I heard FBI. Dear God. This is a high-level friggin' prostitute. I mean, they must have some very high-level clients, whoever this is for. Um, or they just had a whole, it could be that community hoe I was pulling in. They just had the whole community that knows this person sexually. Um, you plug it in how it fits. Um, so I heard balance is definitely going to be created here. A lot of masturbation energy, a lot of doing it privately in the privacy of their home. Hopefully hitting camera free. And um, I heard some it's you or somebody you're connected to. I heard balance is going to be created. So I think the masturbation energy, healthy sacral chakra release energy of your, you know, of your sex drive and your sexual urges, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but um, I heard somebody's about to report a prostitute to the FBI. So balance created. It could be you or somebody you're connected to is about to report this prostitute to the FBI. Yin and yang is balance energy, um, balancing energy in the universe. So you're about to, you or somebody you're connected to is about to report this prostitute to the FBI. I heard FBI. I mean, dear God, I thought I was going to hear police or, or authoritative energy. I heard FBI. Archangel Uriel, this is crown chakra. Seven chakra, that's the one on the top of the head. Definitely going to use head. Definitely. And do the right thing. Time to expose the truth. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. I heard definitely going to use head, do the right thing, and expose the truth. So you're going to use your crown chakra, which is, that is cognitive, that's brain functioning energy, cognitive mental energy. Um, I heard you're going to use your brain, your co um, your cognition, your head. Basically, use your head over your loins um, or head over heart. Uh, but in this situation, it's head over loins because you're talking about a prostitute. Um, for some, you could have been in love with your prostitute. Um, but if they wasn't in love with you, you would know if it was just strictly a business transaction. Okay, yeah, I'm coming in on Tuesday to give you $1,500 to give you a blowjob. I mean... That's obviously not love. That's They want the money, honey. Just saying. Um, obviously, a business transaction. Obviously. Um, but I heard you're going to use your head over your loins and um, finally do the right thing. You're going to create balance, yin and yang energy, and you're going to do the right thing. You're about to call the FBI on a prostitute. Definitely a smart move. Created tons of chaos. Tons. Okay, I heard definitely the smart thing to do. This prostitute apparently caused tons of chaos. So if this resonates with you or somebody you're connected to, I heard from Spirit, it's definitely a right move to call the FBI on this prostitute because they caused a lot of chaos. 
For some, I feel it's in that community where the hoe's being publicly exposed, but you plug that in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.